<laughs> I have discovered the secret to riches. New TCGs! What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to be discussing the new TCGs popping up everywhere. There's tons of them. I keep seeing a new TCG, it feels like every week. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about MetaZoo. You guys probably heard about this. Uh, someone sent me a message about MetaZoo a few months ago and they're like, you should check this out. And I was like, nah. And I, was like, I looked at it and I was like, I don't really like the look at this, to be honest. We'll get back, we'll get into it more later. But I didn't actually really look into it. And the guy bought them for like cheap. He bought the stuff for cheap. And now the cards and the boxes are going for like thousands, hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. There, there's so much money. And I'm like, so what happened? I should have bought some. I also saw videos from Alpha Investments and SM Pratt. And I was like, wow, this thing is like, they're sending stuff out to them. You know, they're, it's on eBay. It's going for a lot of money. So I need to look into this. What's the deal with this thing? The game supposedly is claiming to be a competitor with Pokemon. So... There's also the Flesh and Blood game, which came out. That's a competitor to Magic. So there's like, they're trying to go right at Pokemon and at Magic Yu-Gi-Oh! We don't need competitors because we're obviously the best, right? I haven't actually played the game and I I don't know if, I guess there's a game. It's a TCG. I mean, you got to be able to play it, right? So I haven't actually played that. Um, but at, since they claim to be a competitor to Pokemon, I figure their goal isn't to be a get, like, very playable game. Because Pokemon, people do play it, but it's not nearly as popular as Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh when it comes to playing. I figure that their main goal is to be collectible and stuff like that. I just wanted to make this video because I saw that people are spending a couple thousand dollars on these boxes. And it's a brand new game, so I just wanted to get some, get some things out there. So you guys have at least some idea of what you're kind of investing in, the risks. I think there's a lot of risk investing at this price right now. Before I... I get into the rest of it a disclaimer not every purchase you make has to be an investment obviously you guys see me do it all the time i brought magicians force i opened it obviously not a good investment but i did it anyway it's a fun thing you know people go out on fridays to do whatever they do they waste a lot of money that's like a enjoyment entertainment purchase or a gamble when you buy a lottery ticket that's just a gamble you're hoping maybe i'll get something big i'm probably not going to get my money back that's kind of the same thing with a lot of purchases maybe like opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs box breaks etc stuff like that so i'm not saying that because you buy metazoo you know it's a, a stupid purchase maybe you want to open them up whatever but i want to announce that before we get into the investment part of the video when it comes to the big three in tcg i call the big three magic pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. those are the big three tcg games they're all pretty popular they're all pretty expensive they have some expensive old stuff pokemon is probably at the top then you can argue with magic or Yu-Gi-Oh is second or third whatever they're both pretty big they both have really strong fan bases etc what do all of these have what do they have that makes them so investable they're so consistent at selling for high prices you know people love them they care about them what do they have what does metazoo need to have to be like them for Yu-Gi-Oh, it has a strong tv series it's really old and has a great trading card game back in the day we all watched the Yu-Gi-Oh show or we played the Yu-Gi-Oh tcg and that's why we're back here we're either investing we're collecting we're making videos like me stuff like that about Yu-Gi-Oh 20 years later we're doing that because of those things like the the show we love the show we love playing the game. We love the cards. We love all that stuff. Pokemon has a huge franchise, just a massive franchise. They're dominating everything right now. They're huge. They also have collectible cards that everybody had. They had a show. You know, it's all about the franchise. They had everything. So they have that huge backing. They have the huge hype around them. Big influencers are into it, etc. Stuff like that. And Magic is considered probably the greatest TCG of all time in terms of playability. People are still playing it. They're playing old format. They're playing new format. There's all kinds of stuff that people love about Magic. So that is kind of what's keeping that strong. There are some people like Alpha Investments who are big on the old cards. It is less of a collectible game, I would say, than Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. I think there, I feel like there's a less, uh, there's a much smaller collector community in Magic because they're more into pl actually playing with the cards. They will play with the old cards, literally. So there's less people grading them, I think, but still a pretty strong uh, collectible community as well. So what does MetaZoo have that all those have? Does it have a show? No, it doesn't have that. Does it have a strong franchise? No. Does it have lots of hype? It does have hype. But are there big influencers into it? So Rudy made a video, Alpha Investments. He didn't really promote the game. He did, oh, I guess he technically promoted it, but he didn't say, I love this game. He said, let me know more about it. That's what he asked. So that didn't, that doesn't really count as a, oh, I love this game. SM Pratt made a video. He was skeptical about it. So that's the only two kind of people I've seen made videos. And then there's nobody cra like crazy big making a video like uh, a huge influencer or something. So they don't really have that kind of hype. The only kind of hype is people are like, oh, TCG, I buy, I make money. You know, TCG equals money. That's what they're thinking. Is that true? Is that going to work? And of course, they don't have a playable TCG. If they're trying to be like Pokemon, Pokemon isn't that playable. It's somewhat playable. 
And people play it mostly, I'm guessing, because they love Pokemon, not because the game is incredible, the best game ever. This new game wants to be the Pokemon without the actual franchise of Pokemon. So to me, it's it's very sketchy. If you're going to spend, I would not advise looking to make your money back on a $2,000 booster box or whatever they have. They have these $2,000 boxes. They have hundreds of dollar boxes. I don't think that's the way best way to use your money. Now, of course, I mentioned you can do it for fun. You, and if you bought in early and you got them at 40 bucks, I told the guy who messaged me, I said, I think you should sell. You bought it. He said he bought it at 40 bucks and it's worth like two grand now or one, no, a thousand. Whatever he had was worth a thousand. I said, sell it now. You're over 20 extra money. I think you should sell it. He's like, yeah, but what if I miss out on extra profits? And I said, look, if you lock in a 20 to 25 times profit, then even if it goes to 100 times, you can't be mad about that. You paid 40, sold it for 1,000. You got to be happy about that. I think there's a better chance it comes down. You should buy it back. And he said, I just like to keep what I buy. And I was like, I respect that. It's totally cool. I think it's risky, but go for it. I mean, that's, that's understandable. But my advice to you guys, if you guys bought in early, I would sell that MetaZoo stuff. I don't want to be the guy that says it's definitely going to fail, but I do not feel strongly about it. Uh, I think Flesh and Blood has a better chance, in my opinion, because of I've heard from Magic players that it's a super good game, super strong. And if it's super strong and people like the game, then there's definitely a good chance people keep playing it, people keep buying the boxes, etc. But those prices are even crazier. They're at like four and five grand. So it's like, ugh, do you have to buy a four and five grand box to play it? It seems a little crazy to me. But uh, there is a lot of people supporting that one. MetaZoo, I don't know. I'm just going to let you guys know. I don't think it's a good buy at 2000 for a booster box, 1000 for, you know, a smaller box or whatever. And then the blisters or I think if they have blisters, I don't know. I'll show you guys some of the prices on the screen, but it's way too much for me, I think. I don't think it has the backing to to support such a high price early on because all the original strong big 3 TCGs, they didn't cost that much for years. They now do because of the TCG hype and because of the nostalgia from 20 years ago that people that have not been in the game now have a ton of money. They're not buying into it. And the MetaZoo is kind of like, okay, look, you come spend your money here. You can make a little bit of money. I don't think it's a good idea. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the new TCGs, MetaZoo, uh, Flesh and Blood. I think I saw another one. I don't remember what the name was. And I, there's, a, there's just a ton of them. So let me know what you guys think about them. Let me know if you guys bought in, in early or if you bought in late, you know, what you, what you think about it. If you bought in late, like, do you think it has potential? You bought in early? Are you selling? You holding? Whatever. I'm interested to see what you guys think. I've seen a lot of content about it from a couple videos and stuff like that and people talking about it. So I figured it'd be an interesting video. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>